Hello guys and welcome to the ninth video in the series where we will be looking at creating instances in Python. So this section is basically looking at classes and method. Uh, so far we have been looking at procedural programming or some persons call it functional programming. So now we'll be looking at something we call Object Orientated Programming or OOP. So if you're coming from other programming language such as C++ or Java, we know that uh, classes are basically a blueprint. So uh, and these are blueprint for objects. So for example, um, we'd have a class of a dog. And we know that, say, dogs have four feet, um, they bark, and so forth. But then the object can be different. So one dog could be a pit bull, one dog could be a German shepherd, one dog could be brown, one dog could be black. But the whole thing is that we have a whole blueprint of what a dog is. So object-orientated programming takes us to something like real life so it's basically putting life into our programming so we know that everything in life it comes from a certain tree and then it goes down and goes down until it reaches the individual object all right so um again it would be good if you have some knowledge on object orientated programming since uh we'll be just be going over some basics and we'll basically be skimming the surface on these topics since this is a GUI course. Alright, so we're going to look at how to actually create a class and then we'll look at how to create an object from a class in this video. So, to create a class, we use the keyword class and then the class name and we'll be using the camel case for this one and one thing to know uh, if you're creating a class that is being derived from a base class then we would um in parentheses we'll put the name of the base class right so something like that and then we would have our suite all under that so the thing about class again is that we can basically package a whole lot of um, well similar functionality that pertains to that class and then we can always create object from that class so instead of creating a new uh, set of functions a new set of variables for similar objects like say you're creating five different type of trees um, say for gaming then you wouldn't want to write codes for those five type of trees each time because there's a lot of similarity and so forth so for like a GUI program and you have some buttons maybe you want some buttons to be red maybe you want some to be green but you don't want to write that button code all the time so that's where classes come in handy all right so for this example and for most of this section we're going to create a neat little program where we're going to extract we're going to extract um we're going to extract email from a text string all right so we'll get a text like say someone forward forward to us a message and we'll basically extract the email from that message or any application whatsoever so we are going to go ahead and import the regular expression module from python we're not going to use it just yet in this video, but we're going to need it pretty soon. And then we're going to 
create our class. So our class, we're going to name it get email. Okay. And one thing to know is that every class you create, if you don't specify a base class, it does. Um, this would always be a subclass of the object uh, class in Python. So it would import all the 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 functionality and all the stuff from the object class of Python. All right. Then remember we talked about the doc string where we basically explain what our class is doing. So we'll use it here also. So we'll say this class extracts email addresses from strings. All right. And then the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to define our init uh, module or our init method, I should say. So <coughs> as you know, in Python, uh, our this is basically this part of your class is what happens every time your object uh every time you create an object um from this class so whatever you that um whatever you put into your init method it it automatically happens when you create an object from it so in this case would want to have another parameter and this is where we'll input our text. The self work keyword here in Python is similar to the keyword of this in um, C++. So <coughs> this is basically um, what we call the, it, it, ta it gets the, the object, so the object memory. So everything we do here is attached to that object. And this self keyword doesn't have to be self. Um, we can put it at something else, but in Python, um, we don't change it. So we'll always use self. So no matter what, we'll just use self, all right? And we are gonna say self. So again, pertaining to this object, and we're going to say self.text equals the text that we get from the parameter. And then to check for email, we're going to have a email pattern. So this is what our code would use, something like an algorithm to check for that email in the string. So we'll go ahead and we'll type this in so we won't get into this in detail right now as to what exactly i'm typing but this is basically um regular expression so it's not just python that uses this a uh, lot of language uses this basically to check again for patterns in different strings all right so I think it's plus a C and A to C. Okay, and that's one more. Two and six. All right, that should be okay. All right, so basically, this would be the pattern that we'll look for in a for an email. So I'll just quickly go through this. Um, we're basically looking for a word. Then there can either be a, as 
a we call a dot and um, then we'll look for another word there can either be a dot or not so yeah we're just checking to say say you have something like first name dot last name but not everyone might use a a dot in it so we're checking for zero or one dot and then we check for another word we check for the at sign another word and the dot and then another word and that should be between two or six characters all right so that's the email pattern and then we have the class and i'll show you how to basically create an instant of this class all right so if we want to create an instant we will go ahead and say Ta da say we have received mail equal and to create the instant we use the the name of the class and we use the parentheses and if there is a parameter or an argument to be filled we should fill that with something so for example we can say all right let's say hi please send an email to john dot do at outlook dot com all right so this is basically how you would create an instance of that class and we can go ahead and try to run this and we won't really see anything happening since we haven't done much right now but if we go ahead and run this you see that the code runs perfectly and if we should ask python say for the text so if we should say received should receive that email dot text and we should print this out if we should print this then you see we get back our text there so that's the text we get from here to show that it's working we could also get the pattern if we want so under that we'll print the pattern email dot pattern so the email pattern and you see once it pops up see it say right here and you see get email so that shows you that you actually created an instant of that class and if we should go ahead and run this you will see we also get the pattern so that's basically how you uh, create an instance and this show you how to create a class so in our next video um, i'll show you how to build the rest of the program we're going to use other methods such as special methods and we're going to create um, different methods to actually extract the email and print it onto the screen so i hope you learned from this lesson and we'll look forward for you in the next lesson where we'll continue this program. Alright, so thanks for watching and see ya.